One of the most misunderstood parts of gasoline is octane. What is it? What does it do? You know what octane is? No. <laughs> do you understand octane? No. Octane. Uh, I don't know specifically chemically what it is, but I know it's 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 in gas. So uh, so no, I guess I don't exactly know what it is. Do you know what octane is? Um, no. Do you know what octane is? Absolutely. What is it to you? Uh, it's the way it's a high like weight. It's the way that you it's the combustion basically. Yeah. So like if you have like 89 or 94, it's the way that it's burning and firing off essentially in the motor. I guess. Well, I believe it's part of what goes into fuel that uh, there's various levels depending on the type of vehicle to help kind of get the cylinders and the pistons firing at a higher rate. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not a car guy really, but something like that. In a nutshell, if you use uh, a subpar gasoline, so in other words, if your car calls for premium gas and you start running regular, what happens when the gas goes into the engine, it is actually ignited by the engine itself and not by the spark plug, you then get what they call knock or pinging. If you get that, what you end up doing, you lose power, you increase emissions and you increase fuel consumption purely and simply because all of today's modern engines have got what they call a knock sensor. So the instant the inferior gasoline starts to knock, it cuts in, it retards the timing, it does a whole bunch of stuff that's detrimental to performance and fuel economy. So the bottom line, if your car requires premium fuel, use premium fuel. Engine designers, when they bring out the engine, they design it for specific, you know, for specific gasolines. When you put a high quality gasoline in, like Shell V-Power, you're able to uh, keep the engine as it was originally designed, which is how the engine manufacturers intended it to perform. Using top tier fuel in your car, it's going to ensure that whether it be the fuel economy or the emission control that you're looking for, as a consumer, you can feel pretty assured that if I'm using top tier fuel, the car is going to deliver what the engineers have designed it to deliver. Basically, any gasoline is the same. What changes is the additive package, and one of the biggest things in the additive package is detergent. The importance of detergent uh, cannot be overlooked. The minimum standard uh, gasoline is quite low, as you know, and, it, it, and the performance is, is, is not very good. It's not what the auto manufacturers want. If you use particularly a lower quality gasoline without the right amount of um, detergent additive, you can actually develop carbonaceous gunk. It's almost like dirt for the, um, for the engine. And this can, this can occur on intake valves, fuel injectors. But those deposits can be detrimental in the sense that they actually absorb gasoline. They soak gasoline into the, into the deposit like a sponge. And once they've done that, uh, that uh, interacts or interferes with the precise metering of fuel into the system. So when you light the, it on fire, you see the gasoline burning. The, the customer can actually see what's happening and see it for themselves. But by using a cleaning agent in a gasoline, you're actually able to actively clean that carbonaceous gunk from the surfaces. Shell V-Power contains five times the level uh, of, that's federally mandated uh, as opposed to the, you know, the typical lowest uh, additive concentration fuel that you find out there in many, many marketers. You know, with the increase in turbocharged and direct injected engines, if you don't keep the engine clean, again, performance goes out the window, you're throwing money down the toilet when it comes to fuel consumption, and you're polluting more, which just doesn't work. So just using something that has the right additive package in it works wonders.